As the world turns green for the patron saint of Ireland, we join in the long-awaited celebrations for the man himself. It's three years since we've had a parade in Bundoran. But why should we remember him? Is it because we can let our hair down for a long weekend? Is it because he banished the snakes out of Ireland? Or is there something more profound? I'm not sure if Patrick ever passed through Bundoran here in the northwest. I'd like to think if he had, he might have had a quick surf as he passed through. But we do know that he found the west coast. In fact, his writings mention his awareness that he was carrying a precious message to the very edge of the world. Most likely Mayo. If you stand on top of Sleeve League in Donegal or further west at Belmullet's Water's Edge in Mayo, it's easy to see why you'd feel you were at the edge of the known world, looking out at the wild Atlantic Sea. In a prayer attributed to St. Patrick, entitled I Arise, there is an amazing awareness of God's creation all around him. And that beauty and that power in Celtic Island prompted a deeper awareness of the presence of God. As, and particularly because his, his, his thoughts and his writings are soaked in the, in the scriptures. These are some words of the David that, that he must have permeated his understanding. Psalm 139. You know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Some staggering thoughts from David that must have filled St. Patrick's consciousness. He goes on, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? The answer to that question is nowhere. He says, if I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Listen to some of the words of St. Patrick that echo those thoughts. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me. Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise. You see, to, to Patrick and all those who believe or trust in Jesus, the presence of Christ is inescapable. The Apostle Paul claimed, Jesus is before all things and in him all things hold together. Patrick had this biblical awareness that God was everywhere. There is nowhere we can hide from him. There is nowhere that he can't reach us. Tony Evans, uh, one of the writers, says, As the earth revolves around the sun, so should our lives revolve around Christ, the centre of our existence. That's who he came to be. That's who he is. Jeremiah says, I am a God who is near, says the Lord. I am, I am also a God who is far away. No one can hide where I cannot see him, says the Lord. I fill all of heaven and earth. Patrick had got it. God had filled heaven and earth. The coming of Christ, his death, his resurrection was so that we might be forgiven and know God intimately. Life struggles weren't meant to be wrestled with on our own. Christ longs to accompany us at every turn. This was St. Patrick's message of undeserving hope that the Christ who is everywhere with permission will come and dwell with us, Christ in us through his spirit. So don't, I urge you, don't live another moment without this game-changing reality. Ask the God who fills the universe to fill you now. If God feels far off and distant, don't wait another moment. Invite him to be near. Confess your sin and he'll remove that barrier. Reach out to the God who came for you. You too can know the presence of God enveloping you, just like St. Patrick. And so we can enter into the celebrations of St. Patrick wholeheartedly in a way that truly honours the man of the hour. I'll let Patrick have the last word. He's, he, in the, the same prayer he says this, I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me. I'm your host, Matt Totterby of Bundoran Bible Reflections. Have a great week.